All right, in this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a succulent plant using the array modifier in Blender. All right, so let's start from beginning. And we're just going to modify this uh, default cube into a succulent uh, lead blade like this picture over here. So I'm going to go to edit mode. All right, and then I'm going to subdivide this into half, Control R to subdivide this. And then I'm going to scale all of these uh, vertices. Press S, Y to scale it up. Then press S followed by Z to scale it upwards like that. Then I'm going to click on this button here to change, turn on the X-ray mode. Or you can press Alt Z. And then Control R, give it a couple of subdivisions, roll up your uh, middle mouse and then I'm just going to uh, block out the rough shape of the succulent leaf blade so I'm going to select these top press S followed by X and then I'm going to select this bottom here press S followed by X as well and then I'm going to slide these edge loops upwards press number 2 go to edge selection hold down to alt left mouse, uh, left mouse click and then press GG to slide it up alt left mouse click press gg to slide this up and then you can see we have the basic shape of our succulent uh, leaf over here all right so now i'm going to select all of these press press a to select all and press s followed by y to scale this down to give it a little bit of thickness now our succulent leaf right has a sort of indentation that goes in the center so um, i want to give it a little bit more definition so i'm going to insert one edge loop in the center here Control r to insert one edge loop here right mouse click to get out of the insert edge loop and i want to give it a sharper edge on the tip of the leaf so i'm going to press 2 to go to edge mode select these uh, two edges here press g followed by z to bring it up so now we have sort of a uh, leaf structure here so i want to give it a sort of a um, a rounded look so i'm going to select this external edge loop here alt left mouse click and then i'm just going to scale it up slightly all right now i'm going to select the uh, inner edge so alt left mouse click to select this inner edge here and then press g followed by y just push it in like so all right so basically we have uh, the basic leaf structure i'm going to add one more edge loop around here Control r to add one add more edge loop but now while the edge loop is still selected i'm going to press s followed by z then zero to flatten it and um, and if you want you can press s followed by x okay to just give it a slightly uh, tapered shape okay just like what the leaf uh, looks like over here all right so now we just want to select this edge loop and then just press g followed by y push it down a little bit then select this edge loop here alt left mouse click to select then g followed by y to push it down here like so and then we can subdivide it by pressing uh, control 3 right control 3 okay, pressing control 3 will add a subdivision modifier directly into the leaf now this leaf right now is still segmented so I'm going to right mouse click and shape smooth it all right and I'm going to turn off my x-ray for the time being I'm going to give it a green material I'm going to press Z go to material preview and then just give it a sort of a light green color okay and now we can refine the uh, the blade a little bit now the back if I want it to be thicker a little bit I'll just uh, grab these edges here and just press G for by just give it a little bit more thickness right and uh, and if I want the edges to fall on the surface I'm gonna go to the subdivision modifier here and I'm gonna click on this button so I can see the edges fall uh, on the subdivided surface now I can select this edge press G for by Y and then push it in now uh, there are some succulents right that, that will have a very strong tip right so I'm gonna just select this edge Okay, Alt Shift to add on to the selection here, and I'm going to just press S followed by X just to push it in slightly. 
So I've got a sharper tip like this. And just to give it a wider wider edge on the leaf, I'm gonna select this loop, press S followed by X to give it a slight a slightly wider loop like that. So now I'm happy with this uh, leaf here. Uh, I'm gonna just rotate this, so I'm gonna press G followed by Z to bring this up. And then I'm gonna rotate it based on the uh, cursor location. So make sure your cursor is at the center. You can press Shift C to reset the cursor location and then I'm going to click on this 3D cursor to rotate based on the 3D cursor. I'm going to press R followed by X and then just rotate it downwards like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to refine my leaf a little bit. So go to edit mode by pressing tab, press G followed by Z and select this edge loop and then rotate along the X axis. Okay, this time I want to change the axis back to the median point. Rotate along the X axis. Okay, so now I got a nice leaf um, based around here. Now, if you go over to your object properties, you know that uh, it has been moved, it has been rotated. So I'm going to reset all these settings uh, by applying the transforms. To do that, you press a Control A and then you apply all transforms. So you reset everything back to zero. So this uh, will help uh, later on when you're doing your array. So remember you need to press Control A and reset all the transforms. So now we're gonna add an array to create the uh, leaf pattern that goes around uh, the base at the bottom. All right, so to do that, first you select the leaf, the single leaf, then go over to the modifier tab and then go and add a array modifier. And now you see when you add a, a normal model uh, array modifier, you just have uh, two duplicates, uh, two counts. If you keep on adding the counts, you just increase the number of the uh, the leaf blades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a MT to offset so that it will stick to the center. So I'm going to press Shift A and I'm going to create an empty with arrows. Okay, and then I'm going to select the original leaf again, and uh, I'm going to click on object offset I'm going to click on the eyedropper and I'm going to pick the object empty now nothing happens because we need to select the empty and we need to rotate it along the z-axis all right so because there is a move that's why you can see there's a gap there so I'm going to select the leaf again and the uh, off relative offset I'm going to uncheck it so now all the offset will be based primarily on the um, empty. So I'm going to rotate the empty back until I have all the leaves that are sticking out like that. Then I'm going to select the original leaf and I'm just going to increase the number of copies until it completely covers my uh, the base. And I'm going to select the empty this time. I'm going to rotate along the z-axis until they are nice and evenly spaced. Okay, so now uh, if I want to create the second row of leaves, I just need to select the original leaf. Then I'm going to select the empty as well. So make sure both shift select both of them. Then press shift D to duplicate. Press Z so that it's locked in the Z axis. And then we're just going to create another set of duplicates on top. Now, uh, obviously I want this to be smaller. So while both of them are still selected, press S and then scale it down slightly. Right, you don't want to scale it down too much. And then you just want to offset it a little. Just press R, R to rotate and then press uh, Z to rotate along the Z axis. So have it rotate like that. Now you can select the original leaf, go to edit mode, pressing tab, and then you can press A to select all the components. And then you can try to rotate, rotate them up. Okay, so you can press R to rotate. So as I rotate, you notice that you'll start to bend in a little bit more like that. Okay, so um, you can also go and edit the leaves itself. You can go to edit and then you can select each of the components here and move them around so that you can tweak uh, the vertices. I'm going to uh, go to wireframe mode, press Z, then press go to wireframe mode. I'm going to grab these vertices, rotate it forward, press G and then move forward a little bit. Okay, so now it is sort of looking like a lotus uh, succulent. Right, so I'm going to continue by selecting the original leaf and then select the second MT and then press Shift D again to duplicate then press Z to lock it in the Z axis then press R followed by Z and then rotate it back 
offset it just a little bit okay and then you can start to select the original leaf again go to edit mode and then select all and then you can rotate it downward some more press G to follow and Z to bring it downwards and basically you just continue until you got the uh, succulent that you want so I'm just gonna do this quickly I'm gonna select the second duplicate uh, array select the clone and shift D again duplicate another set okay and then bring uh, press Z to bring it up then I'm gonna press S to scale it down okay S okay to scale it down and then uh, press G followed by Z to bring it downwards then R followed by Z again just to offset it a little so that you have some uh, offset pattern to it okay and then I'm gonna press edit select the blade first then press edit okay and then again I'm just gonna rotate it downwards okay so now you can see it is a little bit off uh, I'm going to try to change it to my view and you can also turn on the uh, rotation tool the transform tool and then you can use the outer circle to rotate inwards okay so rather than using the axis okay and then we can go to wireframe mode select the bottom vertices here and then if you want you can press G to just move it inwards to extend the stem a little bit okay so basically you just continue until you have your uh, stems or your uh, succulent leaves right start to form a main branch together all right so now I have a little bit and if I want I can just create another small little bit uh, growing stems okay, make sure you select the correct empty and then I'm gonna press shift D again to duplicate the another set and then I'm gonna press S to scale it down and R Z again to rotate it back again and then go to edit mode select the blade go to edit mode select press A to select all the vertices and just rotate it inwards okay and you can even move uh, the stems inwards as well now you can isolate this let me just go to edit uh, go to out of uh, press tab to go to object mode press uh, forward slash on your numpad to go to isolate and then we're going to tweak these uh, stems a little bit and just push it inwards like that all right okay then press Z then select material preview now I'm going to press forward slash again and there you have it you have your succulent plant all right so you can put a cylinder shift a I'm going to put a cylinder oops okay that's not what I'm supposed to do because I'm in edit mode I'm going to go to object mode I'm going to click elsewhere so nothing is selected shift a I'm going to create a cylinder Okay, and then I'm going to scale it up. Shift Z to scale it up, and then I, and I'm going to select the bottom face. Press number three, select the bottom face, scale it downwards. Press G followed by Z. Scale it up a bit, some a bit more. G followed by Z in object mode. Then you can have the pot, All right? And I'm going to select the bottom here, and then Control B to bevel it. Uh, I'm gonna click on the bevel to increase the number of segments so that it's rounded at the bottom here. Right mouse click, shape smooth. Cont uh, go to edit mode, control. Select the. Uh, I'm just gonna press uh, two to go to edge mode. Then alt, left mouse click to select the upper edge. Control B again. Give it a bunch of edge loops, and then we have a smooth pot like that. Then I'm just going to quickly add a simple color. And there you go. I'm going to select the entire group. 
Now if you want, you can combine all of these together, then you can have a simple succulent. And uh, you can, once you combine everything together as a mesh, uh, you can sort of modify the leaves. You can use the, uh, can press the O key to turn on proportional editing. Uh, I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to save this first. Save as uh, succulent 2. I'm going to save this and then I'm just going to combine everything together. So I'm going to select all the meshes. All right. And then I'm press control J. Okay, let me see what Ah, okay, let's see. I've accidentally selected the empty, so I have to select only meshes the uh, cube. Cube mesh. Well, actually, all of it has been selected. Oh, wait. I have to apply the modifiers first. So I'm going to select the cube. I'm going to go over to the modifiers and I'm going to hit apply on the array. Okay, once you hit the apply on the area, then everything is going to be permanent. Uh, I don't need the empties anymore. I'm going to select the empties and then I'm going to delete them away. And actually all of them has been uh, combined to form a cube already. So let's see. Um, I think I've early on made a mistake. All right. I have uh, a lot of meshes that are sitting on top of each other, especially for the cylinder. So I'm going to reopen my file. Yeah, there you go. So I accidentally uh, joined all the uh, the pieces together. So what I should have done is I should have applied all my arrays together first, or I should select all the leaf blades and the cylinder. All right, then I press Control J to merge them together first. Now you notice when I do that, right? When I have not applied the array, this is this is what's going to happen. So I'm going to undo that. Control Z. So I need to go through all the cubes. I need to go and apply the array. Go to this one and I'm gonna hit apply. Go to the second leaf set, apply, third leaf set and apply, fourth leaf set and apply. Go over to the cylinder, the cylinder is nothing. I'm gonna select shift, select all the empties, then I'm gonna press X and delete them away. So right now I only have the cylinder and the uh the leaves, right? So now I can select the cylinder holding on the shift and select all of these meshes then finally I press ctrl j to join them so now they have become a single mesh so you can go to edit mode all right and you can use the uh, proportional editing all right if you go to uh, vertex mode select uh, one of the vertices okay and then you can press g you can uh, roll your mouse to increase the edit and then you can start to modify the shape to give it a little bit more randomness so that it doesn't look so uh, even right so you can use a scale okay to make some leaves bigger or smaller okay so make sure that your the area of influence is not too big otherwise it's going to distort the uh, uh, the the bottom cylinder as well or another thing is you can try uh, to just edit the leaves first before you merge the uh, cylinder to the succulent so that is how i will approach in modeling the succulent so hopefully uh, this is helpful for you uh, let's take a look at what it looks like uh, in shading Okay, so these are just a default simple material. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. Okay, so I hope this is uh, useful and hope you guys can try this out. All right.